नेक्स्ट है एक्सरसाइज ए क्यूब ऑफ 50 मिलीमीटर लॉन्ग एडजस इज सो प्लेस्ड ऑन एच पी ऑन वन कॉर्नर दट ए बॉडी डायगोनल इज पार्ल टू एच पी एंड परपेंडिकुलर टू वी पी ड्रॉ इट्स प्रोजेक्शन so this is a as you said as as we have already mentioned that uh, uh, cube is a special case of a prism in which case the base edge as well as the height is equal a square, uh, special case of a square prism in which the base edge as well as the height are equal so the dimension uh, for a cube the dimension only one dimension is required that is 50 mm long edge it is placed on hp on one of its corners it has eight corners and uh, it is placed on hp on one corner such that a body diagonal which is parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp then what is a body diagonal that is so a body diagonal is um, and as you said uh, as you might be knowing that um, a diagonal is nothing but uh, for a plane figure if two opposite corners are joined then that particular line is a diagonal but in the case of a body diagonal uh, it is for a solid figure it is for a solid figure and let me show it to you okay so this is a cube this is a cube placed on the hp so a body diagonal is nothing but if i draw a straight line from this corner this particular base corner to the topmost opposite corner from this corner to this corner if i draw a straight line then that particular line is a body diagonal see if i draw from this corner to this corner these two corners so from this corner if i draw a straight line from this corner to this corner that imaginary straight line is a body diagonal so in that case um, uh, from the base corner one of the base corner to the opposite corner in the top face is known as the uh, the body diagonal so that body diagonal should be parallel to the x y uh, parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp that is the condition so how it is being drawn let's see how it is being drawn first the xy line then the top view of the square prism since it is uh, not square prism actually it is a cube so it is since it is resting on hp it, it is resting on hp on one of its corners it should it is placed on the xy i mean in the uh, hp it is placed on hp so the top view will give you the square and uh, the square should be like this in this position if you rotate if you rotate from this position then only you will can uh, make it rest on one of its corners base corners so that is why it is placed like this if it is placed in the other way that uh, such such that uh, two edges are perpendicular to the xy line so in that case uh, when you are rotating it uh, the it will be the uh, the cube will be resting on one of its base edges but here you what you need is it should be resting on one of its base corners so in order to make it rest on one of its base corners it should be positioned like this that is this is another condition this condition can also be mentioned like all the faces equally inclined to vp in this case all the uh, vertical faces are equally inclined to vp that is 45 degree inclined to vp so that condition is also like this when it is said that uh, for a square prism or a cube or a square pyramid a square pyramid is not uh, another case so when a square prism or a cube is uh, resting on hp in such a way that Uh, all its vertical faces are equally inclined to vp that condition is uh, same as this in that case also the top view will be like this 
because all the vertical faces are now making an angle of 45 degree with the VP. So, uh, in this case, in order to make it uh, rest on the HP on one of its coordinates when we rotate it with respect to HP, so this is the position that is required. Now, you have to draw, you have to mark the coordinates A, B, C, D and the front view. In the front view, it will be two rectangles like this. So, a dash, B dash, D dash will be in the middle and the C dash will be here. And the three dash, one dash, three dash. So, why now the next condition is sorry. So this is the points that is denoted and the body diagonal that we consider is this this line, this inclined line. This is the line that is the body diagonal. So now this is the front view of the square in this given position. And now this line is the body diagonal in the front view. In the front view, the body diagonal will be like this. In this particular condition, this particular body diagonal will give you the true length. The true length of the body diagonal will be like given like here. So this is the true length of the body diagonal. And, uh, true length of the body diagonal means now the body diagonal is parallel to VP. That is why in the front view we are getting the true length of the body diagonal. So the true length of the body diagonal as well as uh, the true inclination with respect to VP. Sorry, with respect to HP is also given. We doesn't need the true inclination with respect to HP. So, but uh, we need the it, it to be parallel to uh, VP. Now it is parallel to VP. Now we mark to this three dash C dash is our body diagonal, and the one dash is another corner, another corner just below this C dash. Below the C dash, one dash corner is we consider, and in this particular corner, in corner one dash, it will be resting. Our prism will be resting in the corner one dash. So now from one dash, we draw a perpendicular line, a line which is perpendicular to three dash C dash. From one dash, we draw a line which is perpendicular to three dash C dash. This should be perpendicular line. And at this point, we mark it as P dash. Why we need it? Because we need to make 3 dash C dash parallel to XY line. Why we need it to be parallel to XY line? Since it is that the solid diagonal is parallel to HP. Since the solid diagonal is to be parallel to HP, in the second condition, what we does is in the second position, actually, what we does is we draw the projections of the uh, cube in such a way that. The solid diagonal is parallel to both HP as well as VP. Now the solid diagonal is parallel to VP. Now in the next position we will be making it parallel to HP as well as VP. So in order to make it parallel to VP, sorry, in order to make it parallel to HP, it is already parallel to VP. So in order to make it parallel to HP, what we does is we need the perpendicular distance of one dash from uh, this particular solid diagonal. So that is why we draw this one dash p dash here. Now with the one dash p dash as vertical, now what we do is we draw one dash p dash. This distance one dash p dash as perpendicular to xy line, one dash p dash as perpendicular to xy line. We construct three dash c dash. 1 dash p dash perpendicular and the 3 dash c dash horizontal to x y line or parallel to the x y line. So with this drawing, we with this one, with this positions that is 1 dash p dash perpendicular and the 3 dash c dash parallel to x y, we complete the front view, the second front view. And now from the second front view, we draw the second top see second top view will be like this a hexagonal shape not a regular hexagon but a hexagonal shape 
you obtain a hexagonal shape like this now what we do have to do is in this case see three dash c dash is the top view uh, sorry front view of the solid diagonal and here uh, this point is c that is that is not mentioned here three c1 is the uh, 3 C1 is the top view of the solid diagonal. So both the solid diagonals are parallel in the front view as well as the top view. It is parallel to the XY line and both are having this equal length. That is the true length of the solid diagonals is solid diagonal is displayed here. Now what we have to do is we have to make the solid diagonal in the top view perpendicular to the xy line since the in the top view it is perpendicular to vp perpendicular to vp means it is parallel to hp and in the front view it will give you only a single point so in the front view if it has to be given give you a single point then in that case in the top view it should be perpendicular to the xy line so in order to make it perpendicular to the xy line what we do is we draw this particular view or this particular top view in such a way that this c3 c1 the line 3 c1 this is 3 this is the point 3 3 c1 is making an angle of 90 degree with the xy line so it is drawn like this this picture is reproduced here like this now all these points are drawn a b c d etc are drawn now the front view is drawn the front view will be a regular hexagon out of which uh, three edges are invisible these are not chain lines this should be uh, this uh, what do you say daughter lines in this case uh, all the dotted lines should all the lines that should be dotted are given as chain lines actually they are not chain lines they are dotted lines sorry for the mistake they should be uh, dotted lines actually they are not chain lines here there is three chain and the dotted lines that is required and here also there are three chain dotted lines here also this figure also there are three dotted lines this dotted lines originate from one in the top view. The dotted lines originate from one. All the edges that is starting from one will be dotted lines in the top view. And uh, in the case of uh, front view, all the edges starting from C dash will be having, uh, will be dotted lines. So this is it. Uh, this is the condition that is where the diagonal is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. The front view will be a regular hexagon. Any any doubts? Sir, e A3 dash ne length in A dash 3 dash. A dash 3 dash. Yes, A3 dash in there. Oh, okay, sir. A3 dash in this E distance, A dash 3 dash. What is the E distance? Sir? Oh. Uh -huh, distance AD, AD distance of this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, same same distance. Cube alike. Cube of all the heights should be equal. This distance will be different. This A dash to C dash. E distance is different area. A dash C dash distance more than the diagonal the length area. That will be different. E height um, E square in the E length the um, E and the edge in the length the um, equal area. That is 50 millimeter. <laughs> Anything? Any more doubts? So second figure on the bottom. Second figure. First figure in there. Number E one dash children a perpendicular line where you can see dash three dash later. Uh, the intersecting mm -hmm. of point P P dash E point P dash. Any one dash P dash number perpendicular accurate chunder 
വൺ ഡാഷ് പി ഡാഷിനെയാണ് നമ്മളിവിടെ പെർപെൻഡിക്കുലർ ആയിട്ട് എക്സ് വൈ ലൈനിന് പെർപെൻഡിക്കുലർ ആയിട്ട് വൺ ഡാഷ് പി ഡാഷ് വയ്ക്കും വരയ്ക്കാം അതിൽ നിന്ന് എന്നിട്ട് ത്രീ ഡാഷ് സി ഡാഷ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യും ഇനി ഇത് ഇതിനെ ബേസ് ആക്കിയുണ്ട് ഈ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസസ് നമുക്ക് കിട്ടിയിട്ടുണ്ടല്ലോ ഈ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് നമുക്ക് ഓൾറെഡി ഉണ്ട് അതിൽ നിന്ന് ആർക്കെടുത്ത് എ ഡാഷ് നമുക്ക് കണ്ടിന്യൂ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാമല്ലോ രണ്ട് എ ഡാഷ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം വൺ ഡാഷ് ഓൾറെഡി നമുക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരാം സോ അത് ജോയിൻ ചെയ്യാം അങ്ങനെയാണ് ഈ ഫിഗർ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കേണ്ടതേ ഉള്ളൂ വണ്ണിൽ നിന്ന് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന പോയിന്റ്സ് എല്ലാം ഇത് ഇതാണ് വണ്ണ് വൺ ഡാഷ് അപ്പൊ ഈ പോയിന്റ് ആണ് വണ്ണ് വണ്ണിൽ നിന്ന് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന എല്ലാ അഡ്ജസ്റ്റും ഡോട്ടഡ് ലൈൻസ് ആയിരിക്കും അത് ഇൻവിസിബിൾ അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് ആയതുകൊണ്ട് ബാക്കിയെല്ലാം അതുപോലെ തന്നെ